Now, take a look at this because this is interesting. I used this aquatic UV sterilizer for my bedroom tank. I put this bracket here that comes with a heater on the thing and stuck it to the top of the glass canopy on the bedroom tank. But because previously I purchased one of these cheap UV sterilizers from China, which is where this one comes from, and it was defective and poisoned all the animals in the tank. So, as to avoid allowing that to happen again, I put the bracket on and wet these and stuck them to the top of the glass canopy. Well, someone informed me yesterday that the UV rays are blocked by any regular pane of glass, so doing this was actually pointless. It did make an interesting nightlight. It made the tank look kind of glowy as it was on uh, after bedtime. had it on a timer so that UV rays would not harm the animals, but hopefully the UV rays would prevent black weird algae from propagating. Well, the reason it wasn't working is because these UV rays are not passing through the glass. So I have a better use for the timer that I was using on this UV sterilizer. I'm not about to put it in the water because it just may poison the animals. And I'll show you that now. And there you have it. I put this reflector light over these jars in which I am culturing infusoria for my Daphnia. Now to do this I take used aquarium water and basically any vegetable matter. I've used pieces of lettuce, I've used alfalfa pellets that are meant for guinea pigs, and it appears to be working, but I put the reflector light over the jars and attached it to a timer so that whereas before in the morning I was turning on the lamp and then making a point to remember to turn it off before I go to bed. Now I don't have to worry about that. This timer is set to come on for probably a total of nine hours a day. And here is the result. Daphnia are doing well in a few of these jars. So I have a treat food for my fish. Black worms are doing well also.